Hello everybody, in today's video I want to talk about Arbitrum airdrop and talk specifically about the tasks you need to do to be eligible for the boost reward up to 5k of dollars based on optimism uh, results and optimism airdrop uh, one. Uh, so I think we could rely on them because it is pretty much same layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum and we could uh, definitely follow the steps and eligibility criteria for first airdrop of optimism and following them to make sure we are maximizing our arbitrum rewards and boosting them so first uh, you need to like do and i highly recommend you doing it uh, and checking like those how to get arbitrum airdrop part one and part two videos where i'm showing how to uh, get uh, and mint uh, Arbinat NFT and I think it's a great thing to do and in my perspective it's going to be four five hundred uh, dollars for the one NFT based on Aptos airdrop and based on opt uh, op Optimism airdrop too so I think it's worth doing it. I will put all the links in the description below. It's still some time uh, for it and I think it's great uh, for sure to do in it. And let me show you the tasks I'm talking uh, in this video and uh, I think in the, those two will give us great uh, results. So those two multi six signers and repeat optimism users. And uh, if you are seeing like this uh, number of addresses illegal, you could see that those two I'm talking in this video it was uh, like the minimum amount of people illegal and uh, at the same time the allocation was like the maximum and overall it gives like up to 3k uh, of op uh, tokens uh, with the price of one token trading like one two dollars and gives up to five six k of dollars for one address uh, illegal and I think it's uh, great but it's not like easy money it just uh, takes a lot of energy consistency your time efforts to completing it but I think it's definitely worth doing it so uh, talking about this multi sig uh, signers first what is uh, does it mean if you are not familiar yet multi sig wallet it means that it requires more than one private key to sign and after a crypto transaction or in some cases that several different keys can be used to generate a signature uh, so and what are criteria in here first there are some multiple like wallets legible we will use this first one called save and the um, important uh, thing here is that uh, you need to do at least 10 transactions all time and uh, yeah because you know you could uh, connect your wallet to safe and do one two three transaction and thinking yeah you're done and you could wait in for this money but no it's just uh, more work and uh, we could do at least like 15 transactions making sure it will work but just maximizing our um, efforts and doing like as much as we can so let me go through this and how you could connect to this safe wallet so i will put the link to this uh, website uh, for you and you need to click to open up uh, and uh, then what you could see on the screen first you need to connect your metamask wallet making sure it is arbitrum uh, chain uh, is uh, using and uh, here also there are some chain illegal and you need to click to arbitrum uh, as well and then you are good to create safe and click to create new uh, safe i did uh, some of the process already so um, it will be some signing the transaction and uh, metamask uh, you need to put the name of your account it could be any account so uh, once it's completed and uh, your metamask is signed you you will see this you save was created successfully and then you could click on get started uh, yeah click continue uh, okay, so what you could see here is that you need to um, have this uh, Arbitrum address in here and you need to transfer some funds from your account to this one. So what you need to do is to take this uh, transaction, uh, like your wallet number and put it to 
uh, your MetaMask wallet and uh, send some money to this account. I would say it could be uh, like five dollars, uh, something like that. So first you need to do this one. So once you send your like money from your Arbitrum or MetaMask uh, for to this wallet, you will see like I sent like a very small amount uh, in here, and I I have some like tokens. It is Ethereum. Uh, this is uh, the amount. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to somehow connect uh, with other chains and make some interactions with them so you could see those uh, applications in here and let me start with uh, uniswap and uh, connecting uh, like my safe account in here and swapping uh, some of um, the money to here uh, it will be also part of your interface in here So uh, let's, uh, yeah, it's uh, for some reason, yeah, I don't know how to change it, but uh, we could uh, put the uh, uh, Ethereum and switch it to USDC. And we could put, uh, for example, $1 to do it. Um, yeah, let's do like $1, click to change it and uh, connect. Uh, in here submit the transaction and sign the transaction so it's just a pretty average procedure in here the most important here is to interact with some uh, chains uh, and uh, i am using three uh, currently and i will show what are they look like <laughs> So once uh, this transaction is completed, you will see that we will have uh, already two coins, uh, two assets. First is USDC, second is, um, yeah, where is it? Should be two. Yeah, you could see it in here. And uh, then it just one up, we are interacted. I would say it could be like two or three of them to work with. So I'm also using Aave is the second one. So uh, we could uh, do also some transaction in here. And uh, it could be, yeah, first you need to connect your wallet uh, in here. Yeah, as uh, 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 it doesn't seem working now, it's uh, again one of those I'm using. So I'm using uh, 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 I'm using Uniswap and also I'm using this uh, Timeless Finance. So um, yeah, it could be like others from here. Just uh, I just want to show you how I'm doing. So this one is doesn't work and now let's do Timeless Finance uh, and uh, also you need to connect with this one yeah sometimes it takes so long time for doing something uh, that it's very <laughs> painful so you need to click launch up in here it will automatically connect to your safe uh, wallet and as i'm swapping in uniswap for usdc you could uh, click here to boost uh, yield opportunities and click uh, to amount of usdc you could put i think there is Maybe it's no amount of minimum, so you could be any amount actually. Let's put ten. Uh, let's put ten cents in here. You need to click approved and then click deposit, and submit the transaction and sign this transaction. Um, yeah. Yeah, you need also to make sure you have some money on your MetaMask account for the fees, um, not only on this account. Uh, so uh, once it's uh, done, uh, like I put some like USDC for this uh, boosting and then you could see those uh, transaction. It says it <laughs> failed. Okay. Okay. Uh, at least a Uniswap transaction was, uh, was successful. And uh, so you could see here this transaction history was, it's important because as I said, we need at least 10 transactions to do. So I would say that this is uh, like, uh, I don't know, like number zero, one, and it should be 10 transactions and all should be uh, successful in here. 
and um, yeah it is something how you could uh, be eligible for the airdrop and also once you're like making enough transactions but you have some balance i'm just showing it with so small balance you could send uh, back to your metamask address uh, so the ethereum back to there so it's not an issue and it's just not money frozen you need to interact with uh, some applications and as I said, for me, it's our, it is also Timeless Finance and also Uniswap. Uh, and um, you could put for boosting, then you could like unboost it, and then you could send something again for Uniswap, just making sure that it's enough volume and transaction. And one more thing, uh, thing here I want to highlight how many times you need to do it because um, yes it is uh, a number of transactions to do and it's also repeat optimism users and how to be legible for these repeat uh, users so um, the criteria is the following address and optimism user made at least one transaction with application across four or more uh, distinct week so it means that that uh, you need to do it consistent like one two three four five weeks before the airdrop and this selects for the top 20 of optimism uh, users uh, yes yeah, this is hard to do it's not an easy thing but uh, still it has like this uh, top uh, eligibility and it uh, makes uh, sense uh, for uh, doing those transactions and how they count it it's based on the time of addresses of first transaction day one uh, seven are considered week uh, one not the calendar week and um, yeah i it's again it's hard to do at least with being like repeat optimism user but i think it's uh, quite like easy to be this multi-six signer and maybe i will also talk how to be uh, this one because i saw how to also how to be legible for this one but at least uh, let us <laughs> finish with this um, multi-six signers and it requires a couple of dollars for you also within the same tasks you are doing with nft arbitrum also a couple of dollars you need to have to sign the transaction to put in those um, uh, like apps uh, to defy protocols to log their money in here and uh, you know also some people were asking about how to organize uh, the airdrop so many of them it's like zk sync uh, starknet it's uh, lay zero like shardium uh, CC and other accounts, uh, uh, ecosystem airdrops and how not to be lost in there. So I didn't do much readers, I'm just uh, more focused on like um, Aptos, then I focused on Arbitrum and uh, those two ecosystems I'm mostly focusing at. At the moment I'm doing like also the K thing airdrop and I will do some videos about this later on. And I did also created the spreadsheet uh, where I will put all those uh, valid uh, projects which uh, could be uh, done. Uh, and uh, for those uh, who were also al already completed, like with this uh, SUFO3 NFT, so this one is not valid yet. I won't uh, rem like put those tasks uh, in the list. So I will put like the project name, what is the type of the project. So we just reviewed this multi six signer and repeat users and I will put the like necessary information like how much does it cost uh, to complete because some of the tasks are free with test nets maybe you will be like prioritize that much uh, more so uh, the name of the tutorial I do as a link for this and some notes like with eligibility criteria and something like that so uh, uh yeah i will put this link in the description and and i will update uh, with all the airdrops you could uh, do and follow and i think it, in this case it will be easier to structure them overall and not to be uh, lost because so many information i agree and i also feel stressed uh, doing so many things at the same time and making like feeling formal that it's so many opportunities and i cannot like take advantage of all of them because i have only 24 hours in the, the day so yeah uh it is actually all i wanted to share with you guys today thanks a lot for watching have a good day bye bye